After eight years in office, President Obama is set to give his final address to the nation Tuesday night. Thousands braved the cold in Chicago over the weekend for the chance to snag a ticket to President Obama's farewell speech. And even though he is still the president, historians are already looking ahead to the legacy he is leaving behind. The Associated Press broke down the subjects its journalists saw as the defining issues of the president's legacy, looking at him as the first social media president, his role in pop culture, LGBT rights, and what it meant to be the first African-American president. Economics writer for the Associated Press, Josh Boak, wrote about Obama's first task in office, putting the economy back together. He joins me now from Washington. So Josh, out of everything President Obama has done in the past eight years, what do you think will be his lasting impact? One of the challenges is that his lasting impact will increasingly be defined by his successor, Donald J. Trump. When reporting on Obama's legacy, we found so many people who are complimentary of the work he might have done to help rescue the economy from a second Great Depression, and yet see voters decide to give all his efforts, whether that be Obamacare, whether that be the decrease in the unemployment rate, to someone who stood diametrically opposed to many of the principles and ideas with which he stood. Well, looking ahead to his farewell address Tuesday, uh, every president has given one since George Washington. What do you think President Obama will say? The president will likely recap his many successes, how far the country has come. And it's easy to forget the dire circumstances our nation faced when Obama first took office. We were staring down the barrel of a second Great Depression we had job losses on a monthly basis of 700,000 to 800,000, and now we have unemployment at a nine-year low. We have 20 million more Americans insured, and the president is likely to tout those successes. He's less likely to tout the challenges that many Americans still feel, whether that be a smaller percentage of them actually in the workforce, or whether they see costs for both child care, housing, education, and health care rising above their paychecks. Well, I'm curious, um, when it comes to communicating the economic successes, Josh, how would you rate or how would you assess how it is that the president did in communicating whatever economic progress was made? This was one of his fundamental challenges. When I talked to Obama's former advisors and current advisors, many of them said he was not someone who sought to play to the crowd, to use the bully pulpit, to whip out populist, uprage, uh, populist outrage when he could. These are things that Donald Trump has done very well as far as being that psychological president who can increase the animal spirits of the economy. And that created a challenge for Obama that he, in a sense, often played it so cool. The flip side is this is that he got the United States through a tumultuous period with minimal drama, but that often came at a sacrifice. As his former Treasury Secretary Tim Geithner said, we saved the U.S. financial system, but we basically did it at the expense of the American public. Mm. Uh, well, you touched on this. Back in September at the Congressional Black Caucus dinner, the president said it would be an insult to his legacy if people didn't vote for Hillary Clinton. Does President-elect Trump's win really threaten President Obama's legacy? We'll see is the easy answer. We'll see what he does with Obamacare. There's debates about what it really means to repeal and replace since we don't see exactly what's on the table. The flip side is this. Obama has a legacy, one of multiculturalism and pluralism and the meritocracy that's hard to reverse. Obama remains popular to this moment with more than 50% of the country supporting him. And part of that is because of the symbol for what he is for the country. The literally winning of the meritocracy at a time that was very turbulent for race and economic and other relations in this country. What about Michelle Obama? What will her legacy be? Well, she stands as a first lady who was devoted to health and child nutrition, one who seemed to balance uh, both the traditional first lady role and the career woman role that uh, increasingly has become part of that office. Um, the AP ran an extensive look at her background and we've seen her as someone that the public increasingly admires uh, and adores. Even uh, Donald Trump uh, and uh, complimented Michelle Obama after Melania met with her. And 
that seems to be a sharp turnaround from how she was initially perceived in 2008. All right. Josh Volk from the Associated Press. Thanks so much, Josh. Appreciate it. Thank you.